I just found a massive detail in the Boruto manga explaining why the debut of the Jogun is being delayed and nobody was able to catch this hint for over 60 chapters. The reason Boruto still hasn't awakened the pure power is because of Momoshiki's divine curse that has totally doomed the boy. The recent teaser of Himawari's powers also explains a lot about this as well. So light up that subscribe button like the pure eye and let's begin. The Jogun is arguably the most hyped element in the story of Boruto, from appearing in the very first episode to having several appearances throughout the anime. This yet to be introduced plot device has gathered a following of its own and people are eagerly waiting for its manga debut for almost 7 years now. The series has already fired things up by introducing the Asusuki gods and changing the power dynamic of the franchise with the reveal of Shinjutsu. However, all these unfoldings even combined cannot confront the hype that this eye has created. So why hasn't the Jogun made an appearance in the manga? yet? Well, the answer lies within the twist of fate that Momoshiki has brought in Boruto's life. The moment the monster took him over, Boruto's DNA started getting overlapped by the demon's karmic data. He started losing the Asusuki genuineness that he was born with, which proved to be the beginning of a traumatic chapter in his life. Momoshiki himself identified the celestial power of Boruto in chapter 65, but the ignorance of holding such a huge potential granted the monster a golden chance to take the advantage of the boy. However, he messed up in his plan when Kawaki killed Boruto mercilessly leaving him with no choice but to fuse with the boy completely. For Momoshiki, it was the only way to save himself and his vessel. But for Boruto, this spectacle complicated his life for an eternity. Before the revival, 82% of Momoshiki's karmic data had already extracted inside Boruto's body and by using his remaining 18% to save his life, Momoshiki turned him into a pure Asusuki with most of his body being diffused with the monster's DNA. He has literally combined his consciousness with the vessel which has made it even harder for Boruto to awaken the joke mainly because he has lost his original individuality that granted him the Jogun at first place. Back in chapter 77, the way Demon was frightened by Himawari's powers is the proof of the indigenous Osutsuki genetics that she has inherited. Both the children of Naruto were born with these superpowers, but the moment Momoshiki entered Boruto's body, everything changed for him. Talking about Himawari's prowess, her parents having the chakra of Hogoroma and Hamura respectively has brought her really close to Kaguya in terms of power level. She might either take the prowess of her Byakug into a next level or could even unlock a totally brand new dojutsu. Now you may ask why Himawari cannot unlock the Jogun. It should make sense for her to unlock that power cause she is not genetically that much different than her brother. But the only problem is that Himawari is not the chosen one like Boruto. The Jogun has some direct ties to the Asusuki god Shibai and it ain't related to Kaguya in any way. However, the reason Boruto was chosen for this power does have something to do with Kaguya. More precisely saying, the chakra of her sons that Boruto has inherited, the soul of Shibai that has transferred to a higher dimension must have chosen Boruto to wield his power for the formidable prowess that he was born with. The Dragon Ball series, which has influenced the story of Boruto in many ways, has made it clear that half Saiyans have more of potential than pure-blooded Saiyans. Keeping this thing in mind for Boruto and Himawari, they both have officially surpassed their parents in terms of power levels. The only thing they require is to train really hard in order to manifest this inherited divine power. Now that we know why Boruto was chosen to inherit the Jogun, let's talk about how it's gonna unlock by or before the time skip. There is something ongoing with the story of Boruto at the moment. Kawaki in the manga has sent Naruto to the place that has been teased in the very first chapter and his next major goal is to kill Eri or Susuki, starting off with his foster brother Boruto. However, in the flash forward scene, Kawaki has apparently given up on killing Boruto and he now wants to send him to the same place where he sent his parents. This shift in Kawaki's plan could also be related to Boruto's Jogun awakening. We know that the Red Kama Wheeler is after Boruto's life because of Momoshiki and the monster is also the reason behind the delay in the awakening of the Star of Hope. So by the looks of it, Momoshiki has left Boruto's consciousness in the future that that's why he's seen with the Jogun and the reason Kawaki no more wants him dead. So how could this possibly be? How did Boruto get rid of Momoshiki and unlock the Jogun at the same time? Well, the prophecies of Momoshiki might give us some clue about this devious twist that's about to hit the series really soon. In my opinion, Momoshiki could have misinterpreted Boruto's fate and here's why I think so. Back when Toneri made Boruto aware of the pure power, he told him everything that was predestined and didn't say a word about the curse of Momoshiki along with the hardships that will follow the boy afterwards. This could be due to the the inability of Toneri to see the entire fate of Boruto. He only told him the things that were too obvious and bound to happen. He absolutely had no idea of things that Momoshiki has predicted like the curse of the blue eyes and growing into a self-destructive person. Most probably because the prophecies of Momoshiki are just the product of Boruto's own actions and not the predestined fate. Think about it. Boruto had the option to not kill Momoshiki and he could have still unlocked the Jogun. He could have even 
murdered Kawaki somehow before the Ishiki fight. All of this means that he clearly had the choice to change his fate if he wanted, but he simply chose not to. Toneri must have been incapable of seeing how the personal decisions of Boruto are gonna influence his future. The same dynamic could apply to Momoshiki and his way of predicting Boruto's future. Everything that he has prophesized about the boy could come true, until and unless he does something to change his own destiny. The development that Boruto is going through as a character is just preparing him to move on from the deadly reminders of fate in order to rewrite his own destiny for the better. That's how he's gonna get rid of Momoshiki by believing and doing something that goes against the misfortune that the monster has been frightening him about. Kawaki can definitely sense Momoshiki's presence and Boruto's mistake of talking to his inner demon just made it clear to him that the Osusuki is still alive. I feel like he doesn't sense Momoshiki's chakra anymore in the future. That's why he gave up on his plan of killing Boruto and now he wants to reunite him with his parents after such a long time. The way Kawaki is executing his plan totally dismantles the shinobi way of doing things, explaining the basis of the Kama brother conflict. Now many of you could ask that why does the Jogun then appear in Boruto's eye even after Momoshiki's takeover in episode 65? Well at this moment, the amount of Kama data extracted in the boy's body is almost 0% and we know that it goes up to 82% in the code arc mainly due to the resonance of Kamas and the frequent possessions. Kawaki appears in episode 206 and the last major appearance of the Jogun was in episode 125 during the Urashiki fight. Considering the Kama extraction had increased in the boy's body after Kawaki's debut, it makes sense for the Jogun to not appear in the anime after that. There is even a theory explaining Momoshiki's death that I read somewhere online which I think could come true considering the plot points that we have on hand right now. It says that Kawaki is gonna kill Boruto again and this time it will be the ultimate end of Momoshiki. Sarada's Mangikyu shall awaken upon witnessing this spectacle and after almost 30 chapters of disappearance, the most mysterious character shall return to the series, the clone of Jiraiya Kashin Koji. This would draw a parallel between the original Naoto series and Boruto as Jiraiya was the one who trained Naoto during the time skip. The clone of Jiraiya on the other hand might have stolen some tech from Amado which revives people and he could snatch the body of Boruto after Kawaki's attack to grant him a new and final life alongside freeing him from Omoshiki's curse. The revival tech could be the technique that Amado is using to bring his daughter back to life with the help of Kawaki's karma. Boruto will soon unlock the Jogun in this way since there is no blockage in his DNA that will stop him from awakening the power this time. So has Momoshiki actually ceased to exist by the time this scene appears in the series? Well so far I haven't seen any theories which contradict the possibility of Momoshiki's farewell from Boruto's life. It could be that the Byakugan is the link between Boruto and Momoshiki and since Kawaki is about to destroy it, they both could attain an eternal separation from each other. If we go by this theory, then Boruto awakening the Jogun could mean that he is now officially the vessel or reincarnation of Shiba or Suzuki. Boruto could be the Osusuki god in human form. This theory sounded really weird a few months back, but since the introduction of Shibai Osusuki, it has started to make a lot of sense. The blue eyed boy could be the reincarnation of Shibai, and the Jogun is a living proof of it. But are there actually more hints in the story that propose the same 